Was that too much? I think I felt like it was a little too much. That was an idea from one of my uh, supporters. Let's get to the video. <laughs> All right, for this video, we're going to do the upper and lower cooling hoses and the expansion tank, uh, and then we will do the bleeding process after. All right, so this is what we're going to need. So in the description, I'm going to put the links for uh, where to buy these items uh, with links to items that you can buy directly um, for good prices. First thing you're going to need is the expansion tank. The next items you'll need are the hoses, ratchet, and 10 millimeter socket. Flathead screwdriver, and then you'll also need a metal pick. Okay, so now uh, the next step we're going to raise the car and drain the coolant. Right here we gotta put our bucket down and open up the uh, drain plug for the coolant okay okay so when you get under the car on the driver's side there's this blue little screw right there okay so I'm gonna get under there just let it come out So right here, removing this bottom part hose is a huge pain, but you gotta be patient. Okay, once you get that pin up, kinda get a small leverage on this uh, flathead right here, just on the edge. You gotta clear this little ledge. Just be on the edge of it and then slowly, carefully apply some torque, just enough. Do not force anything, you just slowly slide it. You're gonna leverage it. So you see how it's slowly going? Just keep going and it should clear it. There you go. All right, so that's that. And it's not broken. So you gotta do it real gentle. You can get that off, okay? Just, just gently pry across like that, slowly. Now moving on to uh, removing the intake, intake box. There's these two clips, right here and then there. You're gonna pull these little uh, pins up and then you're just gonna lift it. Right here has, there's latches here, 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 and two on where the map is at. You're gonna kinda swing it, uh oh. Okay, you can just swing it up and over, just out of the way. Just take it off as one piece. Okay, and just set this off to the side. Okay, so right here, you're gonna get here and here, there's two bolts. Your 10 millimeter bolts, okay, just gonna remove that. Okay, to remove these upper hoses, there's clips right here. Just gonna pop the clip out. So right here, I usually gently pry just a little bit. Just gently pry it. Okay, so I just removed the uh, upper hose. Um, it's connected to the expansion tank and the radiator. So you gotta kinda Pry this off first, and then you slightly wedge that screwdriver flathead in. It kind of made some marks right there, but you don't want to damage this side. But you can see it's, it's little ridges. But you slightly just don't force anything, and you just apply slight torque and pry it a little bit. 
and then once you get it going, just you're just gonna wiggle it back and forth. You're just gonna wiggle it and pull the pose off without any. Don't force it to break anything. Okay, so we're back at the bottom here, and right here, you're gonna press this little tab and pull this sensor off, the sensor connector wire here. And on top right here, you'll pull this pin this way. Pull that pin out, okay? Pull it out like that. This locks it in, locks it in place. Okay, and this one goes down. Press that and it goes out, this out. That's it, like, like that, you just pull it out. Okay, so now I'm back at the top, and this hose right here, that one, you gotta pull that little clip up, and then do the same thing, add leverage to this inside. Remove the one, it's in the middle of the tank. Pry it out right there. You're just gonna put the flathead in and twist, twist it, leverage it by spinning. It's just like that. I lifted it up. Like okay, so the hardest part of getting this reservoir out, the old one, is right here. This clip, this clip right here, on the old reservoir. You have to. Kind of okay. So this thing, once you, it's a one-way clip. You, you press it down in, it locks in place. But to take it out, you have to wedge something in there. Press this little lever down, and then pull the entire like, pull it upward. But that's the hard part. Trying to get something thin, all the way in. That really kicked my butt. So it it takes a lot of patience for this. So you're gonna press it like that, pull it, and then you're gonna pull the entire reservoir going up. Uh, just don't force anything, you'll be all right. Okay, so for the tank I got, the new one here, you have to remove the bottom plug that feeds out this one and put it onto the new one. So what I had to do was wet it with water onto the uh, o-rings on the inside here and and turn it put it on a towel and literally set it upside down and press down on it really hard um but you have to wet the o-rings okay so then and then that's ready to go back in okay so once you slide the uh expansion tank back in right here um you can put the upper hose back in here and this just goes right in with the radiator and the expansion tank on this side. And right here, same thing, you're gonna press it in. Uh, what I did find out that does help a lot, if you take a little bit of clean new oil, just dab your finger and run it around on the O-rings on the inside of these. There's an O-ring on the inside, both ends, and this uh, the one that goes to the expansion tank right here. Just run a slight film of oil in there, new oil and then it'll just go right in with not too much hassle, okay? Okay, so right here, uh, for the lower hose, uh, you just use a the metal pick to pull this, this pin right here, or you can use a flathead, um, either one. Um, you hook it down. Since this angle's a little harder, I think I might switch the door, no, never mind. Here we go, so you can pull that. And then you can actually use the flathead right here and just apply even pressure down with a uh, flathead screwdriver. Okay, so do that right here. Just press. Careful, do not press on the thermostat. Just press on the hose.
So I'm gonna switch sides, just back and forth. There it goes. Um, yeah, that was a little more. Not so much finesse. Okay, same with the bottom. You're gonna go with the bottom, and what I usually do is twist, twist that hose, nudge it into the, the lip of the actual quick disconnect, and just twist it. Uh, no force, not too much force. You gotta apply like an even pressure, okay? So don't try to slam it down or anything. Okay, so for this hose down here at the bottom, the lower radiator side, um, down at the bottom where the lower radiator dis quick disconnect is at, that pin, um, use the metal hook and you can pull straight up from the top and then go under to pry it out. Goes around here. So on top of this lower hose, there's the sensor right there. So let's see this clip. You're gonna pull this clip out. Or sorry, you're just gonna press it. So reach your hand in there and press it towards the uh, this uh, forward. Just squeeze it. Okay, just smash it together into the sensor itself, and then you're gonna pull up. It should come right out. Okay, so so this is the sensor on that lower hose. So I'm just gonna press this little clip into it and just lift. That's it. Okay, so I'm going to pull the clips on the quick disconnect and just pry it off and then feed the hose from the, from the bottom up. Okay, right here, this is the bottom hose that's connected to the radiator. So you, you already pop the pins from the top and you go on the bottom here and you're just going to pry on the quick disconnect hose area. Do not pry on the radiator. Just really, really gently don't force anything. You should apply pressure. So right there, so it's coming out just enough. Okay. Once you get it, once you get it sliding, it's gonna. It's about to give. So just apply even pressure, and then move to a different side. Do the same thing, but don't don't pry on the radiator. Okay. Okay, now that is off. There we go. Now we can just pull it down from the bottom. And you gotta remove, see there's a, right here, there's a sensor that we disconnected earlier. You gotta take that off and put it onto your other hose, um, the new hose. And we're just gonna pull it down from the bottom and feed the new one up once we transfer that sensor over. Okay, so if you want to save the sensor from the old one and put it onto the new one, I found this tool very useful, even though it's for uh, pulling spark plugs, but this sensor is very stubborn. It is very, very stubborn. It's stuck on there pretty good. So on the sides of these right here, there's these two tabs on each side, and this tool comes perfectly into play here. So you're just going to turn it upside down, and then... Uh, so you gotta clamp this right in the middle, like in the middle of these tabs. You have to clamp it right in the middle and apply pressure to it. So while you're applying pressure, right in the middle, right there, make sure you get it right in the middle, okay? So don't touch the edges. You're gonna press together, and then you're gonna pry up. And it, it'll press together and pry up, and you scoot it down. 
and you can pull it out this way without too much damage. Um, you might mar it a little bit. So yeah, I'm just gonna pull up. There we go. So if you don't wanna buy a new one, just reuse the old one if it's still good. Just gotta clean that up and then put it into the new hose. Okay, so we took the sensor out of the old one and we're gonna put it into the new one here. What you could do is just dip this in coolant real quick and then uh, get it wet. Um, there's only one way this can go in. There's a tab that, there's a guide. There's a guide that you can put it in that follows the groove. You're gonna push it in and it snaps right in and that's it. Now this is, this is ready to go back in. We're gonna feed the hose going upward. Gonna line it up with the grooves right here. Just line it up and then apply pressure until it stops. This uh, quick disconnect cover right here should, once it goes up to this bottom line right here, you can lock the pin. All right, so you're just gonna wiggle it in a little bit and it should go on easily, but make sure you always wet the inside O-ring with coolant or uh, a very thin layer of um, oil, a clean oil. I always use either or, um, whatever's closest to me. And then uh, once you get it seated past that last wall on the radiator portion, just click the pin, reach over and press the pin down. Now you're good to go. So you're gonna go back up to the top and reconnect that the sensor right here. You're just gonna plug it straight in. There's no force ring. It's a one-way plug. Once you, it's, it snaps, it'll snap right in. Okay, so let's go back to the top. So here we are at the top. We're gonna get that hose up. Just gonna reach in, put it onto the connector right here. Okay. Gonna make sure to unlock that pin. There we go. So unlock that pin and then push it up or else it will not go in. So once it's unlocked and you line it up, it should be fairly easy because this hose is contoured and that shape itself will kind of give you enough of a force. It kind of gives you um, some pressure pushing, it helps you push it forward into this thermal set housing. Okay, so we're just gonna press from the bottom, try to reach under. Okay, so for um, the top part of the quick disconnect hose, I found that if you, okay, you gotta use both hands, okay? So I found that you put one hand on the middle of this section hose right here, just gotta reach under, and then put one hand here on where the quick disconnect is, and then you're gonna press up even, evenly. It goes right in, but remember to wet that inner O-ring, uh, use coolant. That's the easiest thing. You can just wet it and then uh, reach under and pull up and it'll click right in. But make sure the pin is open when you're putting it in and then close it when it's uh, fully seated. Okay, so uh, you're gonna have to fill the expansion tank right here, this radiator cap, take it off, remove that and fill it with the European 5050 blue. Just use the blue. Um, just use get get two of these, and then if you need more, just put distilled water, and it should be still good. Um, fill it all the way up slowly, and you're gonna remove this right here, this bleeder, this bleeder screw right here. Take that out. Okay, you're gonna set your car to the on position, but don't start it. Just set it to the on, and put the heater to max hot, and then you're gonna put the fan to low. Okay, you're gonna let, um, and then you're gonna let that run and pour it all the way in. Pour it till it rises up. Then you'll close the cap, close the bleeder valve, and then just let it to run to operating temperature. And then once that's done, you shut the car off, and then let it cool down. 
Okay, now once it cools down, you're gonna open up this cap and check the levels once more, and then uh, just fill it up to the top. Thanks for watching.